Hello everyone and welcome back to the J22 Report. I am Brother John, your host. You all know that drill, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So I just wanted to get into first the ratings and some other things I found out about youth, support, youth sports. Uh, I was looking up the play, baseball playoff ratings and the ALCS uh, most recent ratings have come in uh, up over 200% from last year on year over year basis. And I was looking at the U Sports, or not U Sports, that's later in the show. I was looking at Game 5, and they had the infamous, there was Alex Rodriguez, there was uh, the whole Fox crew. And they had in the background, a, you know, as they say, a Let's Go Brandon chant going. And right now, you know, as we said, this year is going to be an up year, but it's in a downward trend. So sports is still on the decline, but this is a bear market rally. And that just showed that the, the, what, a, what was I going to say? Oh, the, the sign of rebellion of just, you know, that sports traditionally takes, the fans. That's the reason uh, the ratings are up. And if you look at the NLDS game five. That was around, let me take a look, 6.5 million viewers, topping a lot. Up significantly from last year. I think the, the packed stadiums, the fans, uh, they are the reason why. Uh, if you want to credit anyone to why sports is up this year, I'll just say it. It's the fans. It's you watching this video. That That is why uh, sports is up. And it's the rebellion. I think the... Let's go Brandon Chance and the doctor saying that, you know, super spreaders at college football events uh, would come and they didn't. So I think just the sign of rebellion that sports traditionally took, like Muhammad Ali, there was the Vietnam and that what that's what made that era of boxing so uh, great. And that continued into the 80s with Mike Tyson. It's declined now. No, there is the Tyson uh, Fury and Wilder fight. So that, it still draws interest. I think there needs to be another uh, personality, maybe a sign of rebellion. Uh, I think Don King was good for boxing too, personally. Uh, but anyway, going back, uh, I think that I was looking at the Sunday. I'm actually going to switch on ratings. I was looking on a uh, previous video. I talked about Sunday night uh, football. And I, I was looking. I was thinking, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I was not correct. Uh, and so I looked at the who was playing. And it was the Seahawks and the Steelers. Now, if you look at that, Steelers have a huge fan base. They're all over the country. Uh, not just in Pittsburgh. A lot of people, they move out of Pittsburgh. And they still have their allegiance to their teams. Trust me, I, I've seen it where I live. I, there's a lot of Steelers fans. And I don't think that's just unique to the Mid-Atlantic. I think they're uh, a lot up north, down south. Uh, I, you know, I have cousins that love the Steelers. And they're not, they have nothing to do with Steelers. This is a big national fan base. Uh, and then you top, on top of that, the Seahawks, who are a good team. They have Russell Wilson, who... Uh, is very likable. Uh, he has a Masters, uh, so very good quarterback, Super Bowl winner, very entertaining to watch. I think I, the rating should have been up, but they were at season lows, and I could think of probably there could have been worse games. I'd have to actually go back and look at all the Nationals games, but the nationally televised games. But there's probably worse games to be nationally televised. Now, don't get me wrong; I don't think it would draw like Tampa. Uh, Patriots. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the season high period for any of the games. But this shouldn't have been the worst viewing game uh, season lows for the NFL. So, I mean, at least Sunday night, I think there was a lot of opportunity. And I think it goes back to uh, sports is now becoming conformist. It's not a sign of rebellion. And I think that's going to hurt. It's one reason the long-term trend is still down. And it will still be down. This is like, I would say, a five to seven year uh, reason why it's going to go down is that uh, they're now a sign of conformity. And, you know, they, uh, how John Gruden, uh, I'm not going to say one way or the other about his emails. Everyone knows what's out there. But I personally think that should have been handled by the Raiders. 
and that should have been handled in house and the team should have been decide but uh, the NFL did decide to engage in cancel culture and I think that's what hurt the ratings uh, this Sunday now I don't think it will hurt for the rest of this year uh, but I, I think some people but I think if you look at that and then you look at the MLB and they had those let's go Brandon chants and you look at their ratings now their ratings aren't going to ever be as much as the NFL but they're up a lot and that's right now they haven't cracked down on um, on rebellion so at least so far uh, for enough for the visible public to see uh, maybe they have may have in other ways but I mean for the visible I'm talking about stuff that's very visible to the public uh, so other stats this is but one reason sports is in a downtrend for a long time uh, is youth participation. If you look at the youth sports, 38% of kids participate in Little League Baseball. Uh, Washington School, and that's down from around 45%. Washington School of Medicine shows 61% of parents support a ban on tackle football. Uh, and high school participation declined 6.5% from 2009 to 2010. Uh, if people don't grow up with the sport, it's not as big of a culture, they're not going to be as they're not going to make enough, as much time to see, uh, be around it. So, uh, and the other thing uh, I was looking at, the biggest decliners in among youth sport are football and basketball, which I, I was uh, surprised to see. Now, track, soccer, tennis, wrestling uh, had increases as well as volleyball and lacrosse. But the decline in youth sports, uh, that's going to get people disinterested in sports. I, I remember growing up, I loved sports uh, and whatnot, but in terms of, uh, I just want to get back to baseball, 38% of the kids participate in Little League. That's down from 45%. And in my opinion, uh, I was looking at one thing, and some say it's for travel. A lot of people are doing it in travel. Now, I, at my work, I knew a lot of uh, parents that they, at nine and eight years old, they're their kids looked like little shrimps, not because of they're small for their age or anything, but they were just so little. And I remember, why are kids that young put in these very competitive leagues? And they were talking about, oh yeah, he has, uh, he wrote down a list of nine goals he has for this season. I was like, kid's nine years old. Uh, why, why, why are they making them have all these goals? Aren't sports supposed to be fun at that age? Uh, so I think as for society, this is not a good thing at all. I, I don't think sports should be getting serious until they're around 15, 16. Their body's fully developed. Uh, they know what type of athlete they can become. Uh, I got real serious as a kid with basketball, and I grew into a linebacker slash uh, guard. And, you know, I sort of, you know, that's one reason I was such a good rugby player. Uh, but... I'm not saying that I'd like toot my own horn or anything. I'm just saying what is. And I remember uh, I could see this trend coming uh, when I used to coach. Uh, I remember when I coached rugby, parents would come up to me and talk to me about getting kids rugby scholarships. And I remember thinking, I, I got recruited actually to play rugby at some schools. And in fact, one school actually, uh, they went to the Sweet 16 went to the final four of the year I recruited them and they actually at the end in the middle of my freshman year they actually sent me a letter telling me they wanted they were wondering if I had a change of heart and would I still be willing to come and transfer over and play with them in the spring uh, I thought that was really funny and I'm not saying this anything but I remember telling these parents I was like first of all this is the beginning of the season let's start winning first before we even talk about you know your kids going to college and I was like and I was the JV coach so I was like I don't even know how your kid's gonna grow uh but I was like l lastly I wanted to be like I doubt for most of you except for one or two I doubt it's gonna be your 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 kid will be lucky if he's as good as I am and I couldn't even get a rugby scholarship uh rugby was so competitive so if people were thinking about that for rugby I can't imagine, you know, baseball, football, uh, those type of sports, basketball, even hockey. Uh, so, yeah, I think 
uh, one the youth participation, but I think the overall participation is there's a lot more entertainment options now. People love video games. Uh, I think also another reason is I think sports was so hyper competitive as a young. I think a lot of people, a lot of kids just by the time they got to high school burned out. Like I know someone that played soccer on travel and played soccer very competitively. He was actually the best and then he ended up not playing, uh, playing soccer in in uh, high school and then you know he stopped liking soccer so if you have kids very hyper competitive about sports as a young age they're not going to watch when they're older because to them sports is work and not fun and that is one of the reasons uh i think sports in the long term is is a decline and i think that's one reason and with other alternative uh forms of entertainment that are fun the trend is down it is down. Uh, so, I mean, I hope this can change in our culture. Uh, but it's just, this is what it looks like. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot more bigger structural problems with sports other than uh, the wokeism that a lot of people don't know or don't talk about. And there's even, I was even say there's even people in my family that are pushing sports. Uh, I mean, they're they're thinking about what type of sports. I don't know if it's pushing, but you know, what sports can my kids, you know, go to college for or get into college for? So you know, in my growing up, my family was all about education. Uh, you know, get study, get those grades, uh, and so now even you know, upper middle class people, you know, and I I taught a lot of upper middle class that we're talking about. They're even looking at sports as a way of getting to college or free college. That's that's a product of uh, high tuitions, in my opinion. Uh, so uh, I think that is one thing, one reason though. Little League and all these other sports, Little League has declined in participation. They want to get them in much more serious uh, coaching uh, leagues. So that's all I have to say about that. Uh, you know. I'll be trying to do other videos. I want to do more on the sports. I haven't been able to do, you know, hockey videos or what whatnot. I'm very busy right now. So, uh, you know, thanks for listening in. And if you like this, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I'll see you next video.